Because if you keep running around trying to find love, you are going to be running around like a chicken with your head cut off because the love is never gone. Your connection with God, with source, with divine grace, never gone. It's always here. But you're in a dream thinking, where is it? I didn't find it. Hello and welcome to my channel. It is great to have you here. What you're about to see is a recording of a talk that I gave on a live stream. If you have any questions or comments about the content in the talk, please put them in the comments below because I would love to answer any questions or um, see how it resonates with you. So once again, thank you so much for listening and for coming to the channel. And remember to please subscribe, like, and share with anyone that might need some of the content um, that I share here. All right, have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Today we're looking at a section in the course. I'll tell you what the section is in case you do have a Course in Miracles, you can follow along. We're in chapter 16, section four, chapter 16, section four, and it's paragraph six. Chapter 16, section four, paragraph six. Now, if you don't have the Course in Miracles, that's okay too. It's okay too, but people that are students like to follow along. Uh, so chapter 16, section four, paragraph six. And today's topic is stop seeking for love, which is immediately right away is going to, you're going to be like, what? Or you might not be. So, all right. So before we do any of these talks or broadcasts, I like to say a prayer. So we're all focused in, we're focused. In. Okay. So let's close our eyes. Let's take a big, deep breath. <sighs> Find your silent place for a moment. Hmm. Dear Mother, Father, God, divine source, universe, all that is, we come together today with open hearts, open minds, and an open spirit. We allow today to be a time of love, a time of support, and a time of growth for everyone here. And we ask that as we contemplate and share and listen today, that we are reminded of the power of love, of God, and of source in our lives. Let me take a big deep breath. And together we say, thank you very much. And so it is. Amen. Actually, this whole section is amazing. You're going to hear me say that a lot. My regular students hear me say that a lot. I'm like, this section is so good. This section is so good. But this section is really good. <laughs> All right. So, okay. So this is in a section called the forgiveness of illusions, which right away gives you a clue about where we're kind of going here. So, and this um, this particular section, the chapter is the forgiveness of illusions, but this particular section is called the illusion and the reality of love. Okay, so let's let's start. What I'll do is I'll read a little bit. We'll break it down. Read a little bit. Break it down, and we can um, we'll have questions and comments and stuff as we go along. Okay. All right. So here we go. <clears throat> Paragraph six. Your task is not to seek for love, but merely to find all the barriers within yourself that you have built against it. I'm going to read that again. Your task is not to seek for love, but merely to seek and find all of the barriers within yourself that you have built against it. This is really important. 
This is the basis of A Course in Miracles. A Course in Miracles is doing one thing. And it is doing exactly what this line is telling you. Far different from a lot of a lot of other trainings, a lot of other you know paths. You have to love yourself. You have to find love for yourself. You have to love other people. You have to find love and do it. The Course in Miracles is a complete opposite. Because from a Course in Miracles point of view, what? Only love is real. Only love is real. So your task is not to seek for love, to find for love. All you have to do is start to see, start to experience all the places where you're blocking love's presence. Your anger, your guilt, your judgment, your sacrifice, all those things. Because once this starts to happen in your life and you start to say, oh, that's a block to love. Okay, let me deal with that. Oh, that's a block with love for love. Let me deal with that. What naturally occurs, it's going to go into this a little bit, but let me just talk. Is you start to have a completely different relationship with who you are and what you think you were and what the world is. Because Love is what is there. So what I always tell my students, I'm like, stop trying to love yourself. Stop trying to love yourself. If you just identify the places where there is not love and you start to deal with those and transcend those, love is what's naturally right here, baby. It's what's naturally right here. Take a deep breath. And that's right, Vince. Only if you delay the process. So let's keep going. I'm going to reread it and we'll keep going. <clears throat> Your task is not to seek for love, but merely to seek and find all the barriers within yourself that you have built against it. It is not necessary to seek for what is true, but it is necessary to seek for what is false. So you don't need to try to find love because it's already there. It's true. That's the truth. But you do need to seek for what is false. What is the illusion? What is the block? This is very basic. This is one of the reasons why A Course in Miracles is a psychological spiritual study. Because it's all psychological. You get it? It's all psychological. Because it's your psyche usually co-opted by the ego, that's blocking you from seeing the truth, right? Every illusion is one of fear, whatever form that it takes. Every illusion is one of fear, whatever form it takes. And the attempt to escape from one illusion into another must fail. If you seek love outside yourself, you can be certain that you perceive hatred within. I'm sorry, I lost my place. Uh, Hatred within and are afraid of it. Yet peace will never come from the illusion of love, but only from its reality. There's a lot of good things in this one. Let's break it down. Every illusion is one of fear, whatever form it takes. So it could, what, what other, what's, what other, what are there other forms of fear? Anger, judgment, guilt, um, defensiveness. Um, there's tons, tons of other manifestations of fear. And all you have to do is look in your own life and look at other people. When they are defensive, when they're angry, when they are um, blaming, when they're judging, it's all a form of what? Of fear, of fear. And it's all an illusion. 
Because what? Only love is real. Fear is not real. From, of course, a miracle's point of view, in the real world, in, of course, in the relative world, which is not real, this world we kind of live in right here, well, it's, it's real, but it's not real. Do you understand? This is a big part of A Course in Miracles, right? So A Course in Miracles is a non-duality teaching, meaning the only love is real. And you have to see the duality in order to then escape it, right? So every illusion is one of fear, whatever form that it takes. Think about what form your fear takes. Think about it. Blame, withdrawal. There's a million, there's a million forms of the fear. How does your fear manifest for yourself? This is also where it comes into projection. You project. I was talking to one of my students yesterday that it was very obvious. She didn't see it until I pointed out that what she was doing was projecting projecting her fear onto someone else and it was blaming we all do it listen this is there's no there's no judgment here we project that fear onto someone else it's their fault they need to do this but it was there was a very simple very simple um solution to this problem but she couldn't see it because all she was seeing with herself and this is what we do we are just in our fear and then we're projecting, we're protecting, we're projecting, right? We all do it. All of us do it. And that's why it's good to have someone, you know, n not me, but someone like me that can go, okay, let's stop here. What are you doing? And where? why are you doing that? And it always comes back to, it always comes back to some form of fear within yourself that you're pushing out there. Do you get it? Always, always. So any attempt, this is an important one. Any and any and sorry, and the attempt to escape one illusion into another must fail. So you trade illusions. You're like, let me think about how, how to describe this best. Um, this is one. Well, I thought I was going to get all everything that I needed from, I could get the love that I needed from this job. You didn't get that from the this job. So instead, now you go, okay, well, I didn't find it in the job. You might not consciously be saying this, that's for sure. So you go, okay, I'm not going to get it from the job. Maybe I'll get it if I start to exercise. Then I'll get that love that I'm looking for. And then, and, and then you, you, you go, wait a second. The exercise isn't really getting it for me. Wait, maybe it's another book. Let me try that. It didn't work. You're, you're change, you're, you're exchanging one illusion for another illusion for another illusion. It must fail. This is the truth. And a lot of times, I'll be honest with you, a lot of times people find me and come to me at the time that they've tried to tr switch illusion for illusion for illusion for illusion. Nothing's wrong with changing your diet. Nothing's wrong with reading a new book. Nothing's wrong with that. But if it's coming <clears throat> from the co-opted place of your ego trying to get love, it will never work. I'm sure some of you can relate to this. It's kind of like, you know, I've, I've done intuitive work my whole life whatever, psychic -y work my whole life. And I see very clearly that a lot of people, what they do is they're psychic shoppers. And so what they do is they go, I'm gonna get a reading with Jane, but Jane doesn't tell me what I wanna hear, so I'll go to Max. But Max doesn't tell me what I wanna hear, so I'll go to Joe, do you understand? This is what happens, is this is all part of the fear illusion all part of the fear illusion. What I like to do on this on these broadcasts is to make it real for you so you understand what's going on. If I didn't get it from that book, I'll get it from that book. Why is it that book? I didn't it, it didn't work. Understand? Take a deep breath. So, you cannot escape 
by changing one illusion for another illusion. It never works. It will never work. You might be in the process of doing that right now. So ask yourself if that's what you're doing. If you seek love outside yourself, you can be certain that you perceive hatred within and are afraid of it. Now, this is where it gets really good. The only reason that you, not the only reason, but one of the main reasons that you're seeking love from a person, from a diet, from a book, from a psychic, from whatever, from your partner, is because you perceive, he says, hatred within, right? So if you're perceiving hatred within, some sort of self-loathing, I'm not good enough, something's wrong with me, my mother, this is why psychology is important, because you need to find out what is the thing under there that's hatred. And then you discover and you're like, oh my gosh, the thing that I was taught when I was young that told me I was this thing, I'm still battling. So obviously I can't find it within, so where do I look? Out there, out there, out there. Yet, now this is the this is the this is the whole message of of the Course in Miracles. Yet peace will never come from the illusion of love, but only from its reality. Take a deep breath. So you want to ask yourself. You want to feel yourself. You want to be able to be with yourself and say, where is the love? If you're of a, cer <laughs> of a certain age range, you might remember a song called Where is the Love? It's a great song. Forget Donnie Hathaway? Where is the love? Anyway, anyway. Um, so this is this whole lesson today that we are working on is foundational. It's foundational to your peace. Because if you keep running around trying to find love, you are gonna be running around like a chicken with your head cut off because the love is never gone. Your connection with God, with source, with divine grace, never gone. It's always here. But you're in a dream thinking, where is it? I didn't find it. Okay, take a deep breath. <sighs>
ton of a ton of baggage. I get really, even though I have to use them because I'm talking to you and I need to explain something, it's um, just be aware. Be aware that both of those come with a lot of baggage that you're bringing to the table every time that you're that you're talking about love or God, right? So always re-ask yourself, what is love? What is God? Important. You're welcome.